Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Lao PDR, Tong Lun Sisulit, offers his keynote remark on the occasion of the 48th anniversary of the founding of ASEAN and the 18th anniversary of Lao PDR's accession to ASEAN. On the occasion of the 48th anniversary of the founding of the associations of the Southeast Asian nations and the 18th anniversary of Lao PDR accession, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Lao PDR Thong Lun Si Sulit convey his message to leaders of the party and the state, officials, soldiers, police officers, and fellow Lao citizens across the country, including overseas Lao as well as foreigners working and residing in the Lao PDR. <laughs> According to him, since its inception on 8th August 1967, ASEAN has gone through various challenges, but through close cooperation of ASEAN member states and between ASEAN and its external parties, ASEAN has made progressive achievements in maintaining and promoting peace, stability and development cooperation for the well-being of the countries of Southeast Asia and the world at large, which is the main objective of ASEAN. Furthermore, ASEAN will announce the establishment of the ASEAN community on 31st December 2015. Throughout the past 48 years, in the area of political security cooperation, ASEAN has made many achievements and the most outstanding is that ASEAN has become a region of peace and stability, which is an important prerequisite for social economic development of ASEAN member states, ASEAN as a group and the world in general. In the field of economic cooperation over the past years, Despite various economic difficulties experienced by different regions of the world, particularly the global financial and economic crisis, ASEAN economy as a whole has grown continuously and steadily, and today it represents the seventh largest economy in the world with gross domestic product or GDP of more than 2.4 trillion US dollars. On socio-cultural cooperation, ASEAN is a region that is uniquely characterized by diverse cultures, languages, and religions. But despite this diversity, the people of ASEAN member states enjoy living together in harmony and solidarity, in caring and sharing societies, and together preserve and promote the unique cultures and traditions of individual ASEAN member states. This has, in essence, formed the unique ASEAN identity as normally described as unity in diversity. External relations is another area in which ASEAN has made continuous achievements. The non-ASEAN countries continue to attach importance to ASEAN by supporting ASEAN centrality and many countries have also expressed their interest to become party to the TAC, a dialogue partner or development cooperation in the region and the world at large. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Lao PDR, Tong Lun Si Sulit, expressed his confidence that ASEAN is well positioned to accomplish its goal of officially announcing the ASEAN Economic Community on the 31st December 2015, and ASEAN stands ready to move forward as a resilient community consisting of three pillars. ASEAN Political Security Community, 
ASEAN Economic Community and ASEAN Sociocultural Community. Dr. Sopopolau, he was a member of the ASEAN in the 23rd century, in the 17th century. He was able to work with the ASEAN in the ASEAN and the ASEAN in the ASEAN. He was able to work with the ASEAN and the ASEAN in the ASEAN and the ASEAN in the ASEAN. การไปพอพร้อมกันในด่านต่างๆโดยได้เอาใจใส่สืบต่อจะต่างปฏิบัติมติของรัฐบาล Since Lao PDR's accession to ASEAN on 23rd July 1997, we have actively participated in the ASEAN community building process. The said government decisions consisting five main work plans is aimed at preparing the Lao PDR. To respond effectively to the challenges of joining the ASEAN community in 2015, as follows: Promote awareness and understanding of the Lao public on the ASEAN community. Establish mechanisms and improve coordination systems between line ministries and local authorities. Conduct studies on production projects. List of products and services in line with the Lao PDR's potential, and improve quality of the products to be able to compete in the ASEAN market. Improve laws and regulations related to the establishment and operation of businesses in order to enable the business sector to continuously improve their capacity and increase their competitiveness. And focus on human resource development as well as capacity building in line ministries and local authorities involved in the global economic integration processes. In addition, the Lao PDR has prepared and developed its infrastructure to accommodate economic integration and regional connectivity, as well as to turn the Lao PDR into a landlink country in the region. To name a few, various roads have as ASEAN highway routes and ASEAN airports, respectively. Moreover, the number of transport service businesses, hotels, restaurants, tourist companies, and other businesses has increased significantly. After 2015, ASEAN will open a new era of the ASEAN community. Currently, ASEAN is in the process of formulating ASEAN Communities Post-2015 Vision, which will be adopted at the end of 2015. Most importantly, ASEAN will continue to conduct its cooperation based on the ASEAN Way. The government, 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 ตามพระนาทีและความผิดสอบของตนเพื่อสร้างความพร้อมทุกด้านสำหรับการเป็นประธานอาเซียนของสปปลาวในปี2016 He also called on officials, soldiers, police officers, entrepreneurs, and all fellow Lao citizens to contribute in accordance with your respective roles and responsibilities to Lao PDR's comprehensive preparations for the chairmanship of ASEAN in 2016. He said he is confident that with the high sense of solidarity and unity of all Lao ethnic people, combined with the support of ASEAN member states, friendly countries, as well as regional and international organizations, the Lao PDR will be able to be a good host and an effective ASEAN chair with great success. Let us together commemorate the 48th anniversary of ASEAN and the 18th anniversary of Lao PDR's accession to ASEAN in a joyful and substantive manner thereby contributing to the preparations for Lao PDR's ASEAN Chairmanship in 2016.